Need for Speed 2022, or should I say Need for Speed Unbound? Yeah, we've got some info. And as you know, you're already in the right place for Need for Speed 2022 news. And if you are not subscribed, well, you probably should be. Now, first up, Tom Henderson believes that the game will be revealed in July, which is kind of basically what I expected. F1 2022 has just kind of done its whole spiel. It's out now, basically. If not, it's out in the next couple of days. I don't bloody know. However, it started, and then, of course, July will would make sense to go for the next racing game. Of course, it's already mentioning Skate, which isn't made by Black Box anymore, by the way. That's a shame, I know. <laughs> but into the Need for Speed section, it's understood that Need for Speed was slightly different from Pass and Solves. Need for speed is always different. <laughs> As a need for speed person, we all know this. But this one's going to adopt a stylized aesthetic combining photorealistic graphics and anime elements. Again, this is something we kind of knew. We haven't really spoken about the stylized kind of realistic view of how the game is going to look, but we've heard this confirmed like 20 times by now. So it's pr probably going to happen. But something new is talking about how the characters are going to be designed. We've not yet heard about the characters. It's just always been about the elements around the car. Suggesting that it's going to look like the Boondocks in terms of the characters. If you've never seen the Boondocks, it's kind of anime inspired. You know, the big eyes, but they're black. Is there any black people in there? There's, there's Brock, right? Hey, I, I just make, you know, I gotta make sure you <laughs> cover my bases. Of course, all we saw previously was the light streams, the wind, the smoke, and the flames that are coming out of the car that were kind of this anime inspired kind of. But the idea is the game is gonna look super realistic. So, of course, we've seen this gameplay many times. I need to tell you, this is not how the game is gonna look. However, the actual visuals of the game are probably going to look more akin to Need for Speed 2015 because that game, of course, went for insanely realistic graphics and then Payback and Heat went for a little bit less of that more game kind of field, more neon bright lights, everything like that. But we're probably going to see a 2015-esque game that kind of has these effects over the top craziness. And to be honest, that actually sounds pretty cool. And the Need for Speed Unbound name well, that kind of lines up, in my opinion. Like, I'm a little bit wary normally when they announce a title or a title is leaked, especially because, of course, it could just be absolute rubbish. However, they normally reveal the names themselves early. For example, Need for Speed Paying It Back was the name of one of the articles before Payback. And Turning Up the Heat came out, what, March? So we should know by now the name. It kind of makes me think they haven't actually seen this gameplay that has been leaked for so long because they keep re-mentioning how it's going to have smoke, wind, and fire coming from the car when you're going fast and drifting and more. I've got, we, 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 we've been seeing this. We've seen it. They leaked at someone at the Criterion, clearly leaked that sh <laughs> but one of the big mentions here is about meetups so apparently it's gonna be where players can meet up around the map initiate races the tracks are apparently very unique which i mean i don't know what that means with one saying there's a large train going around the map as you're racing does that remind anyone else of need for speed underground train the drag races on this game listen if you add a train and don't add a drag race I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. We already spoke about how the last game didn't have drag racing, okay? It needs it back, like Need for Speed Underground. And to be honest with you, the train better be in full usage. Look out for the... Whoa! <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't my clip. I just stole it. Basically what I do these days. <laughs> so this meetups thing sounds pretty damn sick if you ask me. Like, meetups, it kind of reminds me. Do you remember Forza Horizon 3 had meetups? It was really basic and there wasn't much to it. However, the idea was there and it was it, it could have been pretty damn cool. If Need for Speed can do this and make it something similar, I don't know if this is multiplayer. I don't know if this is single player. Are they going back to always online? Are they staying in the kind of split system? I really hope the split system for when the servers get shut down. Like I was thinking about this the other day. When 2015 shuts down, we are never being able to access that game again. Maybe mods will fix it, but like that's pretty sad. Nonetheless, Meetup sounds really, really sick. And I'm looking forward to seeing that because this is something we've kind of requested for a while, especially if it's multiplayer, like going to a meet and just looking around cars and like, I don't know, just conversating and meet. Maybe they've actually had something similar previously. If you remember in Need for Speed Heat, if you go to the garage, there's basically your and your friend's cars and they're part of your crew or you can have all your cars. So maybe it's just based upon something similar like that. Either way, I hope there's more interaction with it because it could have been a pretty cool feature. And imagine you can like walk around and look at people's cars. I'm looking forward to it. Again, GTA comes to mind. They probably saw how well the GTA update did 
with that kind of car meat thing. And so they want to replicate that. But it obviously goes for more of an underground theme, which I, I'm not going to complain. I like me some underground theme. It doesn't need to be called Underground 3. Can you stop? Like, I don't know why they, they stopped this. Like, surely they could have just improved upon this. It, it felt at a pretty basic. But at the same time, it, it could have been so, like, dynamic and flowing. And they could have used this really, really well in the next Forza game. And the other Forza game. You know what I'm saying. Either way. Car meets. Car if it's just like this, I'll be pretty sad. <laughs> if you never saw the GTA meets, it was super sick and it looks something like this. So could this be kind of the inspiration behind it? It would probably make sense. And I hope everybody has to keep their clothes on. That would uh... <laughs> To add something like this to a Need for Speed game, to me, always says it's probably going to be a main feature. And so I kind of expect there to be a story elements around the kind of underground meetup areas. Like think about Need for Speed Heat and how the day and night was basically a core element of the game. This surely has to be. Now onto the last section, which is the name apparently of the game. Although he couldn't 100% confirm the title, Need for Speed Unbound has been floating around a bit. But it's currently unclear if it's a code name. Now, Need for Speed Unbound, honestly, I see it being a thing. Uh, Need for Speed Heat was the last game. And to be honest with you, I thought the name Heat was stupid at first. I genuinely thought, I, I, I was like, nah, this is, this is not a good name. But as time went on, honestly, it kind of fits the game. And now I don't even think about it being any remotely. I, it's a good name. It, it, it makes sense for the game. Honestly, they could have called it that or Rivals and they could have swapped. Not Rivals. No, Rivals. Rivals fits better. Either way, Need for Speed Unbound. Do I think this is the case or do I think it's a code name as the article suggests? I mean, we're getting pretty close to when the game's supposed to be announced. So if they don't have a name by now, I'd be a little bit worried, okay? <laughs> like, but then you've got things like The Crew, which is known as Project Orlando. And that's not really the name. We've, we've heard previous code names of Need for Speeds back in the past. Could it be? Potentially. But at the same time, that could actually be the name of the game. I'm going to say, I think this could be the actual name of the game. But of course, they could go a complete opposite way and name this game Need for Speed Underground. Or Need for Speed Most Wanted. we get a third one. What? Need for Speed Carbon. Oh, yeah, yeah, th yeah, that one's next. <laughs> now, mate, this is a remake of Need for Speed Nitro. Are you ready for that one? <laughs> but to be honest, I don't think anyone would be mad because it would be better than Need for Speed nitro so but that's a whole bunch of new info and i'm really really excited as you know i need for speedy and <laughs> i need for speedy and basically next month we may hear about the game like that is amazing i'm excited like another kind of I, I guessed it of course in the previous video we mentioned how f1 is basically done now next month it makes sense to start announcing game gamescom is coming so it would have at least been august Either way, I'm very excited and I cannot wait to hear more about this game. And you know, if you want to hear more about this game, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.